Frantic Factory has got to be one of the best uh, Halloween spooky songs to play. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's nostalgic as hell, too. Give us that Donkey Kong 64 on the Switch action that we crave, Nintendo. Give us everything we want. Uffo, hello. Hello, Uffo. That's what we'll say from now on. How you doing? What's up? I just made a, uh, a fresh, big, large jug of, uh, of tea. Make sure to go grab yourself a tea or like a coffee or an espresso, a hot chocolate. Get yourself a nice warm drink. Sit back and let's, uh, let's play some video games together. Let's hang out. Let's get cozy. Have a good time. Yeah. Yum indeed. Gotta start off with a, with a hot bevy. Go grab a hot bevy. That's what, that's what we'll say. It's good stuff. How was your day, Alpha? What'd you get up to? Anything exciting or thrilling? You're going to pick up a burger for my friend that is back in the hospital, but then I'll be back. Okay, no sweat. All right, well, make sure to grab yourself a coffee or a tea or something when you're out. And then when you get back, you'll be, you'll be ready to go. You'll be all set. You can get wrapped up in your Udi and watch, uh, watch as I get eaten by zombies. It'll be great. <laughs> um, we found evidence of a mouse in my apartment, so you were deep cleaning today. Oh my goodness. You might have a little friend. You need to get one of those, um, you need to get one of those humane traps that, um, traps them but doesn't, like, kill them and, and alerts you when it's been caught. And then, free pet. How cute would that be, having a little mouse? Aw. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. You can feed him little tiny bits of cheese. Oh. Awful, oh, how could you? Can't kill the mice. They're endangered? <laughs> They're not. <laughs> They're not. I likes mice. Likes them. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be we're gonna check out uh, Project Zomboid today. We're gonna give that a go. It's it's one of the most interesting and most I wanna I wanna say realistic, but it's it's not super realistic. It's just it's got a lot of depth. To its simulation, I guess I will say. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. Looking forward to it. I'm going to face the zombie apocalypse. Alpha doesn't even want to face a small, cute, tiny little mouse. Do you, you, you can't be afraid of mice. There's no way. I, I watched you kill <laughs> 50 wasps with, uh, with one hand tied behind your back the other day. set the traps today I mean now is the time of year that that mice are gonna come out and stuff too right so that makes sense we've uh, we've got a river right behind our work and uh, you got some of the snappy traps <laughs> snapping up mice like that um, and uh, where we've got a river behind us, uh, you'd think that we'd have a lot of mice, but we, we just got a brand new pest control guy. Um, and he, he actually made the point to tell me, like, it's weird that you guys don't have mice here very often. Um, because you're, like, right next to a river. And I said, well, there's construction going on now. So you'd think construction would, like, mess up some uh, mouse infrastructure so they'd come running. But no, still still nothing. I haven't, I've been there five years and I haven't seen a single mouse. Nice glasses, thank you very much. I threw the purple ones on. Uh, so I didn't look like just some floating head. Gives gives me something else to look like, look at. And they're purple, so it fits the theme. I'm trying to fit the theme the whole, the whole month through. I was wearing orange the first stream and then like a green last stream, which like matched the sky. And I wanted to keep that in theme without just wearing black, because I feel like black, black counts, but it's, it's a bit of a cop-out. I wanted to get a bit more creative with it. But thank you. Oh, goodness. Well, I hope your mouse uh, your mouse issue um, doesn't last. Hopefully it's taken care of sooner than later. I hope the mouse just leaves. Just goes, go on. Just leaves. Says goodbye. And heads west. 
because um, that would be great, honestly. He can come here. You just let him know. Like, on the mouse trap, instead of using live bait or... Well, I guess you wouldn't use live bait. But instead of using bait or peanut butter or whatever you use to attract mice, um, just put a little eviction notice. <laughs> See if that works. That might take care of it right away. Snack for Guybrush. I don't know if... Uh, Guybrush wouldn't... Guybrush would kill it. Yeah. There's no, no doubt about it. 100%. I've seen him chase his toys. <laughs> He's out for blood. But I mean, that's, uh, that's kind of what you what you like to see in a cat. So you'll be back in a bit. No, no problem. We're uh, we're going to jump into the game now and and, and get started. So um, drive safe. Be careful, and we'll see you. We'll see you back here in a bit. Ooh. A little bit of drop frames there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything is looking good. If anybody else shows up, please let me know. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna try uh, to to play this today. We're gonna go with we're gonna start a new game first off. I don't know how to do that. I think if we I think we need to delete our old Dave. Yeah. Get out of here. I don't want to play you anymore. Au revoir. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, awful. <laughs> um, so uh, there are a few different play styles. Um, there's the apocalypse, um, which is basically challenge mode. You just you play that if you want to have a quick, a quick round. Just see how long you can survive without really setting up much of a base or anything like that. Um, Survivor is uh, kind of like that, but it's uh, it's a bit more uh, drawn out, so you do have a little bit more time to survive. Um, Builder is what we're going to be playing on, um, which is a bit more relaxed. Um, it gives us time to explore and learn the game more so than like the other challenge modes, um, because there's still a lot of this game that I don't I don't really know or understand yet. Um, so we're gonna play on Builder. This little raccoon is our, uh, is our, our man. Um, I'm not gonna do any mods. Um, but I think there's some settings that we're gonna try to tweak. Or I think if we go to the sandbox, I think let, that lets us, uh, tweak things. We've got four different spawn locations, so it's all the same map, it's all the same city, but all four maps connect to each other. Um... So Muldra is where I was spawning in when I was playing this a few months back. Um, so I don't, I, I but I've heard that that's not the best place to start. I've heard of, I've heard Rosewood is pretty good. So let's let's try starting in Rosewood, um, and we're gonna set zombie spawning, uh, zombie respawning. We're gonna set that off because the zombies get a bit much sometimes, and then they respawn. So the longer you play, the more zombies there are, and uh, that's not what I'm going for. I want a, I want a realistic feel. If I kill a zombie, I want to know that that zombie is never coming back to get me again. Um, so, population multiplier, zero. We don't want a multiplier. We don't want it to get bigger and bigger over time. Uh, respawn multiplier, zero. Everything else I think is probably fine. Did I have one of these saved already? Zero. And respawn zero, okay. There we go. Now we're on builder with tweaked settings and that should be everything we need. And now we get to pick our job. I still got the music going in the background by the way, just, uh, just because this game is a little bit light on music. But I'm gonna turn it down a bit more so it's a little bit quieter in the background. Just let me know if that's distracting or not. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna play as uh, as Swarly Pilgrim. We're gonna play as me. So I'm gonna try to make a custom character here that is as much like me as possible. So right off the bat, we can probably go ahead and add Fireman, right? Because I'm a that's me. 
Um, let's see. What do we have here that's close to anything that I know? Mechanic? No, sir. Let's start at the beginning. Why, why wouldn't we? Fire officer gives you um, specs in X in your fitness, sprinting, and strength. That's, uh, you know, makes sense. Police officer, aiming, fitness, nimble, reloading, strength. Also makes sense. Park ranger knows how to trap animals and stuff like that. Strength is high, knows how to forage for berries. Good fitness, uh, good with an axe and good with carpentry. Park ranger's pretty good. Construction worker, security guard. A burglar gives you good fitness, makes you light fo footed. Um, really hard to hear, so people don't, uh, don't hear you coming. I don't know which one of these I would be closest to. Burger flipper, I'm, I'm thinking, possibly. Strength, short, I'm good with a short blade. Maintenance, fitness, cooking. This is kind of the only, like, retail job that's there. Um, fitness instructor, that's definitely not me. I'm not a nurse. Repairman. Carpentry, fitness, maintenance, good with short blunt weapons. Farmer, I play a lot of farming games, right? So... And there's a pretty in-depth uh, farming system in this game as well that I've never had a chance to try yet. Do we want to? Do we want to play as Farmer Pilgrim? Let's see if we can start up a farm somewhere. That that might be a fun idea. That'll that'll keep us keep us going through with food and stuff. If it works well enough, I'm not I'm not entirely sure how how it works. Uh, let's start with yeah. Let's start with Farmer. Let's go with that. We've got two extra sp extra points that we can spend as well. Okay. Um, so these are all the available traits and stuff that you can pick. Um, these are all the positive traits. These are all the negative traits. If you add too many traits to your character. How you doing, Zimby? What's up, my friend? Farmer seems right? Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Um, so if you add too many good traits to your character, then you have to balance it out and add a few uh, negative traits. But uh, we're doing all right so far. We, we can spend two more points um, in the positive. So we can... Uh, let's see. Let's see what the two ones are. Cat's eyes, better vision at night. Uh, fast reader? I am a pretty good reader. I'm a pretty good reader. Uh, you're doing all right? I love to hear that. I love to hear that, my man. Um, I'm definitely not a speed demon, because I don't know how to drive. Uh, which... Listen, I know I said I was going to play as myself, but if we find a car, I'm going to drive it, alright? <laughs> I'm not... We're not... Or should I? Should we go for the real... The real Swirly Pilgrim playthrough? If I find a car, and I'm not... I'm just not allowed to use vehicles, because I don't know how to drive. Should we... Should we go at that? That might be a bit more fun for our first run. Cars are... Are no good to us. Um, what else is here? I don't know. What else am I? What else am I good at? <laughs> Fishing? Not really. Baseball? I, I, I kind of am actually pretty good at baseball. First aider? Um, I do have my first aid certificate. That's something. Yeah, let's do the authentic Swirly Pilgrim experience. Yeah, let's, let's try not to do too much. I don't know how to shoot a gun. I don't know how to drive a car. So those things in this playthrough where we just won't do those things. Simple as that. If you gave me an empty pistol and said, here, load it, I, I would not, nothing would happen. Nothing would happen. How come there's, uh, on this, on this available of, uh, traits, how come there's no, um, how come there's no, uh, video game streamer? Where's that? Organized? Low thirst? <laughs> Where's high thirst? I should add that. <laughs> I am thirsty. No, I'm taking that off. Uh, let's see. Any? Do I have any bad traits? Let's stop looking about how good I am and let's see. Cowardly? I, I mean, kinda. Yeah, let's add that. Clumsy? Yep. <laughs> uh, weak stomach? Um, I, f I give myself food poisoning an awful lot. Let's add that. <laughs> Claustrophobic, gets panicked when indoors, no. Disorganized, no, I've gotten better at that. I'm not giving me that one. Hearty appetite, no. Because I, I can go days without eating and not really care. 
Oh no. Yeah. Listen, we're we're talking about how bad I am, and then we're gonna go up and talk about how good I am. Um, I don't have asthma, which is good. Um, am I a sleepyhead? I am tired all the time. Let's give myself that one. I'm not overweight. I am out of shape. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Very underweight. <sighs> kind of am. Yep. Am I weak? I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be rough. Uh, I'm a pretty good reader. Uh, am I hemophobic? I don't really know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, going days without eating is probably here in the in the lower traits there. Uh, I'm not super unlucky, I guess. Am I prone to illness? I do get sick quite a bit. Um, am I a pacifist? I certainly wouldn't be. Not in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> uh, all thumbs? No. Short-sighted? No. No. Uh, conspicuous? Not really. Okay, I think that's probably it for our bad traits, okay? Uh, let's start at the big good traits and work our way back. Thick-skinned? Not really. Hunter? No. I have been hunting before. Am I handy? I am pretty handy. I'm gonna give myself that one. I'm pretty handy. There's- I know a- I know a lot about a I know a little about a lot, is what I should say. I know a little about a lot. Um, am I organized? Yes, but I don't know if I should give myself that one. I'm, am I a hiker? I love going hunting. I'm giving myself that one. Former scout? Yes, I was in beavers. <laughs> Just taking anything I can now to help me out. Um, keen hearing? No, I actually have not the best hearing. I don't want to give myself deaf, but I think that might be... Oh, no, there's hard of hearing. Uh, no, I'm not gonna give- uh, should I give myself the hard of- no, I'm not- I'm not actually hard of hearing. I just have not the best hearing, so I don't think I'm gonna give myself that one. Um, I know how to cook. I was a chef, so I'm gonna give myself the cook one. Um, nutritionalist, not really. A light eater, here we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm a light eater. Am I inconspicuous? I don't know. I think I kind of stand out a little bit. I'm going to give myself the baseball player one because I am pretty good at baseball. Um, I was in gymnastics before, but I don't want to give myself the gymnast because I think that's cheating. That's a bit too much then at, at that point. And yeah, I do have a lot to spend, right? So we might as well. I've still, I still have to spend nine points before we start. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> Former scout, I dressed up as Venus with John and Manny once. <laughs> that is true. There you go. If Magical Girl was on here, I would pick it. How you doing, Game Nut? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I do have first aid, so I'm gonna give my, I'm gonna give myself the first aider, and I can read fast. I'll give myself a fast reader. With that's three left. Uh, so, I'm going to give myself, I'm just going to give myself cat's eyes, see better at night, because I have a cat. That's Guybrush's little contribution, I think, to this, and then we can go ahead and start. Now, I think I've got some presets here already. Boom. There you go. I got some presets of me. Uh, all ready to go Because this is the authentic Sorelli Pilgrim experience, but let's uh, let's make sure we're, we're spooky here Do we want to go purple? <clears throat> like a dark purple like that We won't continue to look like this Notice I have chest hair on you've got to um, So I think that uh, that's probably enough like us Um so this is this was this is where we start. These are the end times. Get ready. The zombie apocalypse has begun. 
There was no hope of survival. But we're gonna we're gonna give it our go. We're gonna give it our best shot. What have you been up to today, Zimpy? What have you been doing? Same to you, uh, game. Night. What, what have you guys been up to? Working, twerking, McGurkin. Either one of those. I think we're gonna need to bring down the game volume too, because I think this next sound is about to be loud. So watch your ears. Yeah, that's pretty loud. All right. Right off the bat, let's change some audio settings. Um, that should be a bit better. Um, all right, well, here we are. In the Zambia pack lips. This is me. Uh, how do I inventory again? How do I this play this game? Where is it? Okay, it's just up here, right. You've pretty much been sleeping all day. That's uh, that's pretty good, though. That's what we like to see. Nothing wrong with a good day of sleep. So right off the bat, we come equipped with a hammer. A hammer. Uh, and a baseball bat. So, we've got the baseball bat attached to our back. Um, we can attach the hammer to our belt. We're going to loot this house, and then we're going to get the heck out of here. Let's see. We're going to take the carrots. Nothing in the oven. We've got a baking pan, some dish towels. We're going to take those, and we'll take the empty cooking pot, just because we can cook with that later on. Uh, we'll have a little drink from the tap. Water does become short supply later on in the game. Um, we'll take the cigarettes just in case, you know, the apocalypse changes us and we come, we become very gritty and hardcore. Nothing in the closet. Nobody home, most importantly. Nothing in there. We're actually going to take the sheets off of this uh, window. Oh, close that again, you, you weirdo. What did I just tell you? Close that window. Remove the curtains. That's what we want. Because we're going to need those curtains, um, potentially, in other houses if we find uh, where we want to kind of live. I'm going to bring the game uh, graphics down a bit, too, because I think I'm lagging a bit. Um, resolution blood decals. Cursor visibility, that's fine. Uh, frame rate 60, that's fine. Lighting quality, let's bring some of this stuff down. Medium. Inventory, tooltip, clock format. Month, day, that's fine. 12 hour, fine. Yup. Uh, temperature. Celsius, let's do it. Let's, let's get that going. Water quality, let's bring that down to low. Sky back, skybox. Medium should be fine. Puddle quality, low. <laughs> Dynamic puddles. Ground only, whatever that means. Render rain and snow. Outdoors only. Fog quality. Medium. There you go. That should bring things down a bit better. All right, we got our curtains. What do we have in here? A toy bear and black chess piece and a doll. Okay, kids lived here. That's too bad. Any books? Books are important in this game. We've got farming for intermediates, which is, which is great. It's going to teach us how to farm. Um, and these actually, these vehicle, uh, uh, these vehicle things actually give you um, information in mechanics and stuff like that. So I might not have known how to take apart a car or drive a car, but we can learn. We can learn in the game. I'll take newspaper as well, which will help with boredom. Because I get bored easily in the zombie apocalypse. 
Right off the bat, I'm carrying too much. My back hurts. Uh, so we're going to have to stop picking stuff up right away because I'm a weak boy. I've got too much already. We've got a few carrots and nothing else. We're going to head out into the into the world and uh, kind of hope that we don't see any zombies and that we can find a place to live. Oh, great. It's raining. That's nice. That's what you want to see. So welcome to the zombie apocalypse. This is how it looks. I'm going to quickly just take the newspaper and this magazine as well in case we get bored. There's horrible, awful noises in the distance, so we're just going to avoid interacting with anything or anyone for as long as we possibly can. There's a car. That's good. You can check the, uh, check the trunk of the car. There might be some good stuff in there. And also, check out the inside of this house, because... We, uh, we might want to stay there this evening. We need to find a watch as soon as possible so we can know what time it is. Need to check the surroundings of this, of this house to make sure that there's nobody spooking about. Zombie apocalypse is, the zombie apocalypse is a bit more isometric than you thought you thought it would be. Yeah, same, right? Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? But here we are. Uh, I'm going to break into this house. I hope. Come on. It's Riley Pilgrim. Break in. Not that one. This one? Come on. <clears throat> I really don't want to have to smash one of these windows, but we're getting into this house. There we go. Look, that one was open. Excellent. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to close these curtains. So if any wandering... Oop. Nope, we tried that already. Close the curtain. We're going to close the curtain so any wandering zombies will just not really notice us, which is great. Uh, close curtains. I see to celebrate your stream, Capcom announced the Resident Evil movie trailer. Oh, did they really? They announced a date, or did they actually show it off? The trailer, I mean. Thanks, Capcom. Just for me. Pretty cool with that. I don't think I'll watch Resident Evil, but I'm interested enough in Resident Evil to... Ooh, some dog food. To, uh, to at least watch the trailer. I'd be, I'd be interested to... See what it looks like. Matches. Ooh, we're going to take the matches. Access to fire is always good. There's some chips here as well. Some red wine. We're, we're starting to carry quite a bit. That's going to start to injure us soon. But we need this food, so... We're going to take it. Dropped it about 20 minutes ago. Oh, nice. Well, shall we have... Shall we, uh, shall we give it a look? Should we give it a go? Is there any, uh, any copywritten music? That I should worry about? I mean, there probably is, right? But... It's probably fine for now. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's just chill here for the night. Because I don't know what time it is, and we're not going to know what time it is for a while. So I'm just going to... Um... We're just going to close the curtains. I didn't realize it had curtains already. Who cooked it, and will they come back? Uh, ooh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Uh, it'll be pretty awkward if they come back and we're just kind of living here. There we go. See what I did there? I, uh, put curtains over all the windows. And closed all the curtains, because we don't want any zombies to see us in here. We're going to try not to make very much noise. And uh, this will be our base for now because I don't I don't see any reason to go anywhere else, not just yet. We got a fridge, we got a stove, we got everything we need. Um, so let's put all of our food in the fridge, even the chips. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even freaking matter. We're gonna keep the water bottle on us because that's important. Always gotta have something to drink. Put the carrots away. Um, the steak. We're not hungry yet, so we'll we'll just chill that for now. Uh, and 
that should be fine. I think there's a bookshelf over here. There's DMCA music from the very start. Okay, crap. We'll put all of our books over here with uh, with all the other books that are already here. Just so we know where they are for when we need them. Uh, and the newspapers as well. They, they can go there. That'll be our entertainment area. Can I sit down? I can rest? Yep. Yeah. Um, well, why don't why don't we give the trailer trailer a look with no audio? How does that sound? Because <laughs> I'm curious. I want to see. I want to have a look. Let me bring it up. Or I'll just keep it down really low. Very very low. Uh, Resident Evil. What's it called? Welcome to Raccoon City. Is that the one? Dropped three hours ago? Dropped one hour ago? Three hours ago? That must be it, yeah? That's the one everybody seems to be talking about. God, there's trailer breakdowns already. Holy crap. Right, let's have a look. Let's see what people are in for. Resident Evil fans, let's see what you're getting. There we go. Welcome to Raccoon City. Okay. You get, Can you guys kind of hear this? Probably not, but that's kind of what we're going for. Come on! Oh, gross. Oh, gross. Okay. Hopefully that's not too, too loud. I don't want to get shut down for life. Hello. Claire? Is that who it is? Are these like, is this like the brother and sister? Oh, captions. Yeah, good idea. Okay, hold on. Let's start over. Captions. They don't have them. Nope. That's weird. Look at those eyes. <laughs> hold on. Let me see if I can find one with captions. There's got to be something with captions here. Official trailer three hours ago. Let's try this one. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Okay, let's try it again. I might be in the way of the captions now, but hopefully not. No, there you go. Are these these are Wesker's kids? Is that is that who this is about? Yeah, they must be brother and sister, right? Is that Stephen Merchant? <laughs> Claire and Chris. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the dogs. Oh, dear. Okay. There's music playing. You telling me that's supposed to be Chris Redfield? Where are his muscles? I love this song though. This is the best song they could have used. I want to see a version of this trailer, but with the with the meme version of the song. That's a random thing Netflix are yeeting over the fence and writing Resident Evil on this die-in marker. Oh, on this side. Well. Yeah, gross. I mean, oh my god, that's horrible. There, I mean, there's stuff happening, right? So, 
They put the dogs in. That's kind of fun. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. <laughs> Definitely not watching this. No, your brain should be on the inside, dude. No, thanks. I'd give it, I'll, I'll give it a watch when it comes to Disney Plus or whatever, wherever it's going to show up. I'll probably, I should probably watch those movies eventually. They seem like a, like a dumb time. A good dumb, 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 dumb time. That was a shot I liked. The first zombie reveal from Resident Evil 1. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Even I recognize that. That was pretty cool. Nice that they uh, put little touches and little sneaks in like that. I like that. It didn't look too bad. I'd be excited about it if I was a Resident Evil fan. What do you think, Chris? You good, good with it? No? Leave the dog food in the neighbor there. We're back. We're back into Zomboid. Speaking of zombies, setting up this place as our base. We can't really do much with what we have. Um, we really need to find like a saw. We need to find some tools. Is essentially what I'm. Uh, what my goal is here. Some farming stuff. Is there a shed to this house? I wonder. I didn't really look. Going back outside again. Get that bat ready. Right, let's check the trunk of this car. G from Resident Evil 2. Even though the effects aren't done. Ah, right. Fair. What do we have? We've got a... Oh, there's a car jack. That's good. It's good for fixing, uh, fixing cars. Oh, and it was open. Sweet, dude. Anything in the seats? Glove compartment? Some matches? Cool. We'll take those. Ruby, nothing else. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Curious to how much worse they can do? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I guess once uh once your hopes have been crushed so much you you can't really uh can't really do much else to uh bring yourself back. But maybe that's what you needed. Maybe you needed to be brought down to the very bottom and now this is gonna be really, really good. You're gonna love it. It's gonna it's gonna just Reignite your hope and, and, and trust. Or maybe it'll be garbage. <laughs> uh, we're getting hungry. We're a little bit peckish, so don't have to eat just yet. Especially with our perks. I'm getting bored. All right, me. Listen, we just started a zombie apocalypse. Clam down. All right, we got some friends. Oh, and one of them has seen me. Okay, so welcome to Project Zomboid Combat. Let's see how good weak old Swirly Pilgrim's gonna do against a zombie with a baseball bat. Mitch, what's up? How's it going, dude? Oh, God. There we go. We got her. Thanks for the raid, my man. How you doing? What's up? Tunable power. Hell yeah, man. That's not just any kind of power. That's the power you can tune to your, uh... Uh, to your own signal. Thank you for the raid, guys. How 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 you doing? What were you, uh, what were we playing, Mitch? Uh, we're playing Project Zomboid, killing some zombies, trying to survive. We just found a zombie who had some socks, some studded earrings, nice shoes, long necklace, knee-high dress, and a diamond golden wedding ring so these two were about to get married it seems and I've murdered them we're gonna have a zombie wedding they don't really have much uh, worth picking up so I'm not gonna bother uh, the point is we survived how's it going it's going good my dude going good just chilling you know trying to survive um, how about yourself what game, uh, what game are you guys, uh, playing today? This could be the end of us right here. I don't know if I can take two zombies at once. This might be bad news bears. Because I am not very strong. And I'm very weak. I'm both of those things. Oh, God. Okay, no, we killed him. 
We did alright. We want to kill zombies because they will have... Uh, some of them will have watches on them. And uh, we don't know what time it is until we find someone with a watch. And that is important. Just to get a bit of guitar uh, practice in Rocksmith. Nice. That's pretty dope. I'd like to hear that. We're gonna let this pour. Oh look, it's a police officer and a convict. He's gonna have some good stuff on him. Let's let him out, yeah? Before they break out. Oh god, what the hell is that? Let him out! Oh, it's locked. Oh, okay, shit. Alright, well, they're gonna break out eventually. Let's see if I can break in before they break out, so, uh... I can get the sense of... Um... The element of surprise. Oh, God! Okay. I think we found, like, a crack den. <laughs> There's, like, a guy in a jail jumper and two cops. Yikes. Any more cops in here? Any more zombies in here? Yep, there's another- there's a third one. Okay, we want them out of here. Hey! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god, I think I just got bit. Ah oh, shit! I think I just got bit. Holy crap. Uh, that's not good. I am currently bleeding. Okay, I need to rip up some sheets. And we need to... I need to remember how to fix my health. Okay. Scratched and I'm bleeding. Rip that up. Tie that up. Okay, we're bandaged. We're hurt. We're bandaged. We got bit immediately. Let's leave them to their own devices for now. But we're going to have to clear that house out pretty soon. I think this is my house. I don't really remember. Oh my god. I'm... Something doesn't feel right. Okay, I can hear more zombies. Is this not my house? Hello? Is someone here? Hello? Can you guys hear that? I'm not crazy, right? You guys can hear that? Oh, yeah. The, uh... The convict, the jailer man, fa followed us home. Sorry, but I've got to bash your head in. Oh, you brought your friends as well. You brought all your friends. That's really bad. Please leave. Oh my God! It is so hard to hit them when they're when they're crawling like that. Oh no! Get away! <laughs> Ah, no! Oh my god, this sucks. No! Get back! I'm sorry, ladies. A cab. A cab. A cab. There you go. All the cops are bastards, especially zombie ones. Holy crap. Ah. We did it. We're gonna take that jumpsuit and the duffel bag. He was carrying a hand fork. Let's see. The police bulletproof vest. Yeah, we're taking that. The jacket. The pants. The t shirt. We're gonna become a, a policeman. Oh my god. They had a holster with a revolver and a nightstick. Like, see, this, this was great. This was great. Now, there's a bunch of naked people on our front lawn, but that's fine. We'll, we'll just pretend it's, they're not there. We gotta clean ourselves up. I, we might have been bitten. We gotta take this bandage off and have a look. Scratched, bleeding, we're infected. We're infected. We're gonna die, everybody. <laughs> 47 minutes in. I think that was, what, our fifth zombie encounter? We got bit? Dude came right around the goddamn corner. Didn't have a chance. I didn't have a chance. But we'll still live our life. 
Uh, we'll pretend like we're, we're doing fine. He bit us on the neck. Oh, my God. Can you imagine getting bitten on the neck by a zombie? No, thanks. No, thanks. All right, well, we've got a revolver and a holster, so let's uh, make sure we go out with a bang, I suppose. Put this gun in our holster. <laughs> Just go out shooting. Put on our new police outfit. Oh, man, we should check out what was in this duffel bag. Um, yeah, let's see. What was in here? Nothing. Good. Cool. Love that. <laughs> Empty duffel bag. Don't put it in the fridge, you idiot. Put it on the floor. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got a nightstick, which is cool. I'm, I'm going to pick that duffel bag up again, actually. Um, just because we can put some stuff in it and then put it down. Maybe, like, over here in the living room somewhere. A zombie wedding? With this hand, I will lift your sorrows. Now, what, what, what the heck? What the heck is that from? Don't recognize that one. Let's, um... Yeah, put the nightstick in the duffel bag. We'll put on the bloody bulletproof, bulletproof vest. And this jacket. And the police pants. The jumpsuit can go in the duffel bag because we don't need it. We can rip this sheet up. Oh, is that from Corpse Bride? Ah, I see. I uh, I've only seen Corpse Bride once or twice. Um, it's on my rewatch list to watch uh, watch this year because uh, I do I remember really liking it, but I don't. I, I'm not, I'm not sure why I uh, I always forget to watch it during the. Halloween season. Oh, I'm carrying too much still? What am I carrying? Oh, did I put down the wrong bag? No. Why am I so weak? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm awful. I suck. I'm carrying a kettle around. I could probably put the empty kettle away. Let's just put that in this cupboard. And, like, the cooking pot. We probably don't need to be carrying around those. <laughs> uh, dish towel as well. Cigarettes we can put in the cupboard. I'm still carrying too much. Uh, put the hammer in our backpack. That might help. And the rip sheets. That helped a bit. I guess the, uh, everything in my, in my, uh, backpack and, uh, the baseball bat is a bit too much for me. Okay, what else? We, we gotta have a little, little drink. Before we go. We still need a watch. So we still need to, um... We still need to kill some things. Hmm. And I'm, um... I'm also very tired. I'm very tired and I'm hungry. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's have some... Some chilled... Chilled bag of chips. How do I split this? That's fine. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat half a bag of chips to see if that can help our hunger. See if that does anything for us. Now we're still hungry. Okay, eat eat the other half of the bag of chips. How does that sound? I'll treat myself tonight. Okay, now I'm just peckish. All right, so we'll just we'll just eat the other bag of chips. Our hunger's gone. We are. Ridiculously tired, though. So let's uh, let's head to bed. Close this door. Have a little sleep and see if we can sleep through the night. We might not even. Hopefully, we can sleep for a while. Don't know what time it is. Don't really feel safe. Is our injury going to heal itself? Are we infected? Infected, or is it just a, an infected? Injury, but not like zombie infected. Let's check. Okay, we actually got we actually healed overnight, which is good. Um, we're gonna have to take off the dirty bandage. Oh, and our bite is gone. We've been healed already. It must have been a very very not serious bite. 
Lovely. All right. Well, we're we're doing all right. Best zombie apocalypse. Uh, uh, best zombie sim ever. You can get bitten all you like. Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's uh. Let's just take that as an absolute win and head back outside. I thought Swirly Pilgrim out in the wild was gonna die right away, but no. We uh we we close call. But we got lucky. We got quite lucky. So now that we know that there's nobody in this house anymore, we can go right on in. Let's see what uh, this cup had on her as well. Ooh, a shotgun. Yup. I think there's another zombie left. I think we missed one. Oh, I can hear something. I can hear something in here. Is it the same dude that jumped out at me? I hope not. Oh my god, there's someone here. Oh, they broke out through the window. They broke the door as well. Okay, I'm thirsty again? How? I've got a, water, a full water bottle. I should be drinking from that. There we go. Alright, I can hear something in the house. I think there's another zombie in here. So we've got a... Oh, he's probably in this room. Let's see. Oh, I hope not. Oh, God, okay. Nice bathroom, though. Not over there. Is he in the cupboard? Oh, is he in here? Oh, nope. There's a welder's mask, though. We're going to need that if we want to take a plot. Oh, God, okay, there's another room. Ugh. Okay, no, nothing in here. I'm just hearing things, I guess. Oh, I'm taking very minor damage because I'm carrying too much with that shotgun. Crap. That's okay. We can we can we can manage with the very minor damage for now. There's another shotgun here and a box of shotgun shells and a lighter. Definitely take the lighter. Uh, what is this? Washing machine? Cool. Fridge? Milk? Excellent. We'll take the milk. We're gonna start taking a lot of damage, though, soon. We'll take the pickles, as well. Why not? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave the pickles, because this is the this is the true Swirly Pilgrim experience. I don't like pickles. The zombie apocalypse. I don't know how much I would be eating. We've got can opener and stuff, but I think we've got one of those back in the place. We need a mug, right? We gotta get ourselves a mug. Jar lid, probably don't need that. You can find tea and stuff in this game, so I'm kinda hoping that we, we do. Do we want the lipstick? Do we wanna take the lipstick? Probably not. What books do they have over here? Oh, they do have a book. All right, take that. It's going to be heavy, but that's fine. We've got a short distance to walk back to our house. We're going to unload all of this stuff again. We're going to we're going to learn how to drive as well. That's that's my goal. Cuz we might actually be able to hotwire that if we figure out how. All right, let's put let's let's, let's eat some food. And then put the food away. Oh, I've got moderate exertion. Yeah, see, I've been carrying too much, uh, too much for too long. And it's starting to hide. Where did the milk go? Did I not? Oh, there it is. Okay, we'll put the we'll put the our new mug away as well. Wash the dirty rag and then put that away. Uh, we'll, we need to find a good spot for our weapons. Where do we want to put our weapons? Um, right here on the floor. 
<laughs> for quick access. Just keep my revolver there, my shotgun there. Shotgun shells. Can't carry them around, so. Dirty rag. Let's uh, let's get let's get cleaned up. We're covered in blood and like trying not to die from a bite. Uh, let's get clean. We could have used that really nice um, bathroom, but not now. Why? Okay. Use the sink. Okay, clean rag. Yep. Have a drink. Good stuff. And now wash yourself, you filthy animal. Get a wash by. You're dirty. You're so, you're so stinking filthy, you're gonna get infected on your own. You don't even need the zombies to help you. Wash your face and your hands and don't forget your belly button and, and your 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 butt crack and all, all the good bits. Make sure to get in between each toe and that a boy. Uh, wash your clothes too. I'm gonna be a bit wet after that, but that's kind of okay because it's not super cold out yet. I don't think. So my bite my, my bite healed on my neck, but I am still uncomfortable. So I think I think I have been infected. I think I'm gonna die. But we're not gonna give up. We're not just gonna kill ourselves and end it. We're gonna we're gonna struggle. We're gonna survive. We're gonna die, come back, kill ourselves, and then just continue on as uh, as our, our our second as our second attempt. Okay, we still need to find like a watch or something because I I don't like not knowing what time it is. Um, and there's nothing in the house that we just checked, so why don't we check this house down here? Front door's open. Did I go in there already? We might have checked this place out already. All the doors are open. Yeah, I must have. I don't know how in-depth, though. Oh, very in depth. This is like the first house we checked. Um, okay, so. Well, what's down this way? I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking too, because running really, really depletes your stamina. Okay, we've got a. we got a nice fence here, which is good. God, look at this! Look at this property. Huge backyard with a massive forest in the back. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Look at all the Christmas trees. What a festive, what a fun festive area this would be during uh, the winter months, which hopefully we survive long enough to see. None of these. Um, None of these uh, houses had any uh, tool sheds or anything like that, which is unfortunate because tool sheds usually have tools, which is pretty great. Is there another house in this row or is it just the three? Oh yeah, there's another one. Oh, there's a zombie coming down there. Did you see that? Through the forest? Where are you? Come on. You got a watch on? Looks like you do. Give me that. Give me your watch! Give me your watch! Give me! Oh, she's got a friend. She does have a watch, though. Okay. Come on, is that your sister? Does she have a watch as well? Give me your watch! <laughs> I'm, like, mugging the zombies. It's horrible. Okay, she didn't have a watch on, but the first one did, so that's good. Let's equip that right away. Boop, look at that. It's 11.40 a.m. 
Um, if we can find a digital watch, we can learn even more. We can learn, like, the date, uh, the, uh, the weather, stuff like that. Oh, this house is huge. This house has a garage. Okay, that's good. Might be able to find some tools in the garage. Let's, uh, check the perimeter first. Yeah, we've got a friend. We've got two friends. Hello. Sorry, I'm just, uh, <clears throat> just admiring your house. It's pretty good. I've got a watch already, so... The only reason I'm killing you is because you would kill me first. Come over here, boys. Come here. Hello. Come on, come get me. That a girl. Around the corner here. Yep, there you go. Fall over any time. That'd, that'd be great. Oh, don't come crawling at me, though. Hey, you! Can I get him with the back of the head? Oh, kinda. Whack. Ooh. Whoop. There we go. Nice. I think we upset someone, though, in the house. Oh, boy. Hello? Ah! How you doing? Okay, let's see if we can get in. Oh god, there's two there, okay. What if people actually have company before? The, this apocalypse, people actually like had friends and invited people over to their houses, I can't believe it. Not me. Am I wearing riot armor? Yeah, I killed two cops. <laughs> two cop zombies, I should say. And uh, stole their gear, so I'm, I'm kind of pretty well fitted here. Yep, alright, we're gonna need to break this window. Let her come out, because otherwise we're gonna be in, in danger here. There you go. They were naked, so that's great. Come on, go get your friends. I don't want to break the door. Hey, can you two go over to the window? Can you guys come over? Can you guys come over to the window, please? Like over this way? Over here? Hello? Alright. Oh, I think they're listening. No, maybe not. Okay, I need to... Wrap my hands in cloth before we try to remove the glass here or else you will cut yourself and bleed and die like I have many times before but now we can get in and now we've really got to make sure not to die here because oh my god can you imagine hey bat bat why am I using one hand please run I've equipped my rep weapon wrong. Use your other hand, you imbecile. Oh, God. All right. Get back. I don't know how to use a baseball. I'm a baseball player, but I don't remember. Bat. Get back. Bat. Okay, that worked. Okay, he's down. She's down. For the love of God. Equip in both hands, you moron. You lunatic. Jeepers. Okay. Moderately exerted. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Hello? Anyone else home? Oh, I hope not. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Man, there was a party happening here, though. There's, like, bags of chips everywhere, wine bottles. Two of them were naked. Why wasn't I invited? We've got an umbrella and a pillow. I don't think we really need any of that. Headphones and a pillow. If there are, uh, if there are any good... For when I start streaming again in the zombie apocalypse, I'll come back and grab those. Some lipstick, again. Don't need that. What else do we have here? 
Baking pan, dish towel, empty kettle. Matches will take. Uh, can opener and some vinegar. These guys needed groceries. Nothing in the fridge. Wait, hold on. We got to check the freezer as well. Nothing in the freezer. Do they have any good books? Mechanics for beginners. That's good. We can get started on the uh, mechanics route now, which is great. You need to start... When you read a book, you get boosted experience, and then when you attempt to do mechanical things, you'll um, you'll fail a lot of the time, but you'll gain experience, and then as you gain experience, you'll fail less and less and less. Um, and reading the books uh, gives you, like, an, an experience boost. Um, and watching TV gives you an experience boost as well. Hmm. That's a lie. I think reading, I think watching TV just gives you, gives you experience. Doesn't boost the experience that you're given. Nothing in the closet. I think that's about it for this house. Unfortunately, not, not a lot. We got, we got some books, but. That's about it. That'll have to do. Still no tools. I still, I, I want to find some tools. I want to find some, like a saw or an axe. Because if we get a saw or an axe, we can start taking apart, um, like, doors and wooden furniture and stuff. And that'll um, increase our carpentry skill. And once we get our carpentry skill up high enough, we can start building um, things made of wood. Like, stairs and, and stuff like that. Um, so it looks like we've reached the end of this little line of houses. So... We'll see. These houses should, should be connected to roads, right? You would think. We're gonna not pay attention to the wolves. Just, just don't, don't pay attention to the wolves for now. Uh, we're getting drowsy, so I don't want to go too far. Oop, oop. Okay, there's the, there's the other, there's the other prisoner. He's also got a duffel bag, so he might have some good stuff on him. Ooh, he's got a... Ooh, he's got a screwdriver. In the duffel bag, which is great. Screwdrivers are good. That's like one of the tools that you're going to want. He's got some rip sheets as well, but I don't really need those. And we don't really need a second duffel bag, so we'll leave that behind for now as well. But we, we'll know it's here if we need it. Put everything in our backpack just to try to ease the load a bit. Expert farming. Hell yeah, man. Um, and we'll leave him as well, because I think that's probably... Ooh, what was that? That's probably most of the zombies in this area cleared out. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. What the hell was that? We've got like a fenced in area over here? What is this? Oh my god. Okay. That's not good. There's like an equipment shed here though. And that might be good. Can I climb this fence? Am I fit enough? <laughs> nope. Great. Now, see, that's not real. This is not the true Swirly Pilgrim experience. I can climb a fence. I know how to climb. Maybe not in riot gear, though. That's fair. Maybe not in riot gear. Ripped and torn riot gear as well. I can't be. Can't feel nice. All right, let's try to let's try to find a way into this compound then, because this is going to be a big building. There's probably going to be a lot of zombies in there, but we want to slowly kind of clear it out. So we can investigate. Alpha, how you doing? How you doing? How did everything go? Good? How's your friend doing? Zimby, game not how 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 do you guys think you guys would do? In the uh, in the apocalypse. Anybody in chat for that matter. How long how long would you give yourself? To survive. You're Gouda? It's a bit cheesy. Right, there's another house here. 
Went well, she had to get a scan and blood work. Fair, fair. But good to know that it went well. Um, there's an uncooked cockroach in this uh, trash can. Does anybody want that? Anybody want that? Oh, hello. Okay. Let's help this man get out of his house. And hope he doesn't bite us and kill us. Come on. Ow! Oh, he knocked us over. That's really bad. Get away from me, old man. Ah! Get away from me. Get away from me. Go! No! Get away from me! Get away from me! Oh, God. Die. Die. Stop his head in. Get. Oh. Uh, you'd like that cockroach? Yeah, it's a good pizza topping. Here, I'll grab it for you. We'll keep it. Yeah, they do very much specify that it is an uncooked cockroach. <laughs> yep, you can, you can do just about anything in this game. Always make sure to clear away the broken glass before you get into any walk through any windows. It's very important. I hope there's nobody else in this house. The door is barricaded. Okay. All right. This is probably another survivor's house then. Well, they didn't survive clearly, but. Hello? Curtains pulled down so we can't see inside. Kind of want to get the game now. Oh, the game is fantastic. I am, um, and and they're they're doing a massive update to it right now as well. So like what you see, all of the sound effects are being changed, um, and they're consistently updating it. Multiplayer is uh, is expected to be in it soon, within the next year or so. Oh, phone, no sweat, no sweat. We're gonna try to make our way into this house. Oh, the front door was open. Are you alive? Nope. Okay, what was going on in here? This room... This room got barricaded. These guys must have been hanging out. I get. I, I bet he got bitten. This guy got bitten. You're gonna go get your pizza? Oh, I want pizza, man. Oh, I'm jealous. Shit, I might get pizza. It's payday, baby. Uh, those two were hanging out. The guy we killed had been bitten earlier that day, and he they were hanging out together. Uh, the guy we killed died and bit this guy. He didn't want to kill his friend, so he locked him in this room, and then he died to his own infection. And then we killed uh, the zombie. Yeah, see? Got to make up a fun story about what happened. And then raid their fridge. Look, they got frozen steak. Hell yeah, man. We're going to cook that. What else do they have here? They've got canned beans and some sugar. Okay, we're going to need the sugar for tea. I'm not even kidding. There's some already cooked chicken in here. Am I hungry? Yeah, I am. Eat that. Eat half of that uncooked chi that, that cooked chicken. Yeah. I'm still peckish. All right, man. I finished. Polish off the rest of that chicken. That's what we like to see. Eat the other half. Delicious. You love to see it. I'm full to bursting now. That might have been too much chicken, but that's okay. Some shorts. Comfy and easy to wear. Anything in here? Nah. Okay, I was I was just uh, just exploring the the borders of of this. Uh, this, this fenced area to see if we could find a way in, but nothing there. But we do know now that there's a few more houses up this way and a road that heads in the southern direction that we can follow. Maybe there's some stuff down that way. I just want to... <clears throat> I just want to head, uh, head back home now, unload some stuff, and get ready for possible bedtime because my guy is quite tired currently and covered in blood. Not uncomfortable, though, so we might be okay. And we're healing. 
I can't imagine we would uh, we would be getting better if we had gotten bitten. I think infected just means uh, like it, it's it's gonna take more to heal. You can un you can um, disinfect wounds and stuff. So if we can find some disinfectant, that'll be good to have. That might lessen the possibility of you. Uh, being turned anyway, or something I don't know. Let's uh, let's put our cockroach in here. Let's just store that for for when we when we get some pizza because we don't have any right now. We'll put all of our food back in the fridge, including the canned beans, just because I use the food the fridge as storage for food. So I put everything in there. The sugar, that's kind of food. Uh, steak frozen. We're gonna put that in the freezer part, which had peas in it as well. Okay, I must have, I must have missed those. We'll put our books away and stuff like that. Put your books away because those are heavy. Expert farming mechanics for beginners. We're gonna we're gonna try because we can actually dismantle our vehicle um, because we probably won't be using it. We can dismantle the vehicle um, and uh, try to learn from the experience. Take it apart, see it how see how it works, you know. The huge. Uh, I've just noticed that there's a medicine cabinet in this bathroom. Oh, we have a bathroom. I didn't realize. We got some toothpaste. Excellent. Beautiful. Okay. Close the door. Turn off the light. Try to get some sleep. Can barely jog. That's how exhausted I am. So let's uh, let's go to sleep. Six thirty at night. Let's see how long we can sleep for. Hopefully, nothing spooky wakes us up in the in the nighttime. Not too bad. We were really tired. Holy crap! We slept for almost twelve hours. Jeezy crazy. Holy moly! All right. No, uh, no zombie attacks yet. And we're f back to full health again. Okay body condition. Should we try to get fit? Should we try to do some exercise? What exercise should we start the day with? Let's see. Do we want to do... Do a few sit-ups? Do some sit-ups for 10 minutes? Let's have a go. This will actually improve your physical fitness in-game as well. If you do it enough, uh, it doesn't work. If you only do it like every now and then, you you actually have to be consistent in your exercising, in game, in order for it to uh, benefit you at all. These are our skills. Let me uh, let me put them where you can see them. So as you can see, we've got only one bar in fitness and like not even half a bar in strength. Good with long blunt weapons because of the baseball. Uh, pretty good at farming, not too bad at cooking, not the best at carpentry. Got two in first aid, trapping and foraging, which is great. Don't know anything about guns, so that's fun. That's cool. All right, not bad, not bad. We gotta go back out. We gotta go back to exploring. Apparently I'm carrying a bit too much. Oh, I was carrying the backpack around for some reason. Okay, let's uh, let's head back this way. 12 hours is a mood? I know, right? Oh my god, I used to sleep for 12 hours all the time in, uh, in uh, college. I think we'll, we'll, we'll ignore the, um, we'll ignore the houses for now on this road. I want to try to find my way into this compound just to investigate. I think it's going to probably be a bit too dangerous for us right now, and I don't want to use any guns because that will alert more zombies from other areas in the game. It won't spawn any new zombies because we have zombie spawning turned off, but it will still alert more zombies to come this way. Can I? Now that I'm fully rested, can I climb this? No, I'm just really bad. Okay. I just suck. Okay, so this is a 
Okay, I hear some friends. I hear some friends. Hello? Any friends? Oh, hello? Oh, there you are. How you doing? That's pretty good. I'm well rested. So, I'm gonna smack your head in. Fairly easily. Oh, they had a clip-on tie? I don't wear that. There. <laughs> Got myself a clip-on tie. You can't see it, but it's there. Alright, I think that's everybody in that chunk of forest. There's definitely going to be more guys here, though. Okay. Oh, this must be a police station. That's probably why there were uh, cops in that house over there. Makes sense. Now, did they lock their vehicle, I wonder? They didn't. Idiots! What's in their glove compartment? Toys are mine. Walkie-talkie. Okay, there's a toy walkie-talkie for some reason. It's a wallet. If money was useful, I'd take it. Newspaper. Some makeup. Rubber band, not much. We can uh, make sure to open, unlock the the trunk. Where's the trunk? There we go, we'll unlock the trunk. So we can check out what's in it. It's empty. Wow. <laughs> Cops had nothing. Okay, don't see anybody in there, so that's good. Is the van open? Sure is. There's two wallets in the glove compartment. Nothing else, though. Anything in the trunk? A garbage bag. Let's throw that on the ground. Oh! Hello, sir. I'm gonna need you to approach this direction Swiftly and promptly, sir. Sir? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I've got to beat you to death. You've done this to yourself. Look, this dude had a better walkie-talkie than the police did. And he's got a digital watch. Hell yeah. Equip that. Check this out. Boom. It is currently... 18 degrees Celsius on 7-Eleven. Wow, okay. What is that? That is July? July 11th? Okay, so we don't have to worry about... Um, that's the opposite of my birthday. 11.07 is my birthday. Um, we've, uh, we've got lots of time before we need to worry about it getting cold. I don't really see anybody in here right now. Oh, hello. Oh, I like his pants. Bat, give me your pants. Give me your pants. Okay, his pants, they, they all the items have uh, stats and stuff. So his pants have pretty good condition. They're a little bit bloody. They're not super wind resistant, but how damage to our pants currently. Oh, they're still better than the purple pants. They're bloody and dirty. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash my clothes soon. Still doing okay, though. We're we gonna go into the police station? It's locked. It's locked. Ooh. Car accident there. Let's see if uh, if this vehicle has anything inside. If I can get in. Oh, it's too damaged. Anything in the trunk? Trunk's locked. Shit. Okay, a few more houses around. Another truck. Another Zumble. He's by himself, so, though, so let's take him out. Because then that's one that we need... One less that we need to worry about. Oh, what a smack. 
Baggy jeans matches. Yep, take those. Some sneakers. I could swap this. No, I've already got sneakers on. Okay. You can wear boots to give yourself extra protection on, on your feet area, or you can wear sneakers then that uh, that'll let you sprint and stuff, move faster. Whack. There we go. Okay, she wasn't really carrying much. Who else is there? Hello? Oh, hello. Looks like Manny. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Manny. Okay, I wonder if this door's locked. It is, damn it. Okay, can I break through these windows at all? Oh. Where are you coming from? Where did you come from? Ah! Ah! Crap! Oh, God! Oh, my God. We almost got bit there again. Ooh, okay. Get rid of our old watch. Getting a bit hungry. All right, let's see if we can smash our way in here. That was quick. Wrap some sheets around our hands before we move the, move the glass. In we go. Oh God, okay. I really hope there's not like kitted out zombies with like raid gear on. Oh God, there's definitely zombies in here though. Hello. Hi, Alfo. Welcome back. We just, uh, we just smashed our way into an old police station. Um, and we can hear zombies, but we can't see them. Which is just never a good thing. Did you get dominoes? Oop. Okay, this is the prison kitchen. Or the police station kitchen. They got frickin' ice cream here, dudes. Take that. Oh, they got more ice cream. <laughs> Excellent. That's all the police had was ice cream. <laughs> Dish towel, empty kettle. Fork. I guess we're going to have to take a spoon, right? For our ice cream. Some salt. Oh, is your free pizza? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's even better. Got some coffee, we'll take that. Empty bowl, I don't think we've got one. Can of oats, we'll take that too. Garbage bag, mop of pencil, some sponges. Sunflower seeds, yeah, we'll take those. We can grow those later on. What uh, what kind of pizza did you get? What toppings? Did you get all the trimmings? Some fried chicken. Eat that. Do they have water on still? They do! Have a few drinks and then we're gonna fill up our uh, empty bottle. Good stuff. Eat some more of that fried chicken. <laughs> Yum. Oh, man. Getting bored. And we're carrying quite a bit right now. Let's see. Oh, there's a dead mouse here. Uncooked. An uncooked dead mouse. Uh, there's another lighter. We'll take that, too. Oh, there's some pizza. Nice. Let's take that. Now we can have pizza, too. In game and out. Barbecue chicken. Ah, nice. Yeah, Domino's has really good barbecue chicken. There's a dead rat here as well. Hopefully no more zombies. Oh, 
man, we could almost we could almost make this our base, honestly. Definitely like the, there's water. Big walls that we can like hide behind. It's a cafeteria for God's sakes. Right, I'm definitely here. He's we gotta clear it out first though. There's still zombies in here. Think of think of all the fun things that could be in these lockers. Or or they're just empty. <laughs> There's someone in here. Yep, yeah, there she is. Hello? Oh, God. Okay, be sneaky, be sneaky. Crouch. Crouch down. Sorry! Gross. Classic watch. Tank top. There's somebody else in here. They're gonna see me. Yep. Hello, ma'am. Sorry. Okay, good. Oh. Alright, she didn't have anything either. This room doesn't seem overly useful either, unless there's like a bunch of good stuff in these desks. Doesn't look like it. Notebooks, pens. Yeah. Just school stuff. Is this room clear, though, at least? What what did the teacher have? Semi-automatic? No, just notebooks and stuff. What about in here? A, sh a single sheet of paper. <laughs> wow. Okay. This place is big, man. I'm starting to think this might not have been a police station. in here metal work for beginners yeah we'll take that that's good advanced first aid sure take the other book as well um this is okay there's the exit there we're carrying a we're carrying a bit now and we're starting to get hungry so i'm gonna eat a fried chicken real quick have a nibble and uh Maybe make our way home. I'll just I'll just check out the other side of this area first. Oh, there's a bathroom. Hello? Anyone in here? In the stalls? <gasps> okay. <gasps> okay, nope. All good. Can't go in the women's washroom. Anybody in here? No. I don't think there's ever going to be much else useful in here, honestly. I was kind of hoping for, like, a storage room with a bunch of weapons. But it looks like it was just, like, the police academy. <laughs> where they would learn. Or, like, just a college or something. Ooh, storeroom. Empty storeroom. Another classroom. Nothing in it. That's too bad. I was kind of hoping to find a bunch of stuff. It's like the administrative office. Do they have any of their tax forms in here? Sheets of paper. More sheets of paper. These are just offices now. Alright, let's head home. At least we know that this building is empty now, and we don't need to worry about it. If we need, like, a, if we have to rush somewhere to hide from a big mob of, of Zambles, this will be uh, this will be where we go. Good to have it here. I'm gonna have to check the women's bathroom, all right? Just to just to just to be sure. I need to make sure there's no zombies in there. Otherwise, I would never. Paperclip, school bag. Okay, this must have just been a school, then, if that's the case. Baseball cap. Let's put that on. Nope. Nope. Didn't finish. Put it on. Where did it go? 
Look at that. There we go. Shouldn't be bald in a zombie apocalypse. You should always you should you should just make sure to uh oh a video game. Take that. And a comic book. It's Iron Man edition seven thirty three. There's a constant worship, volume two, C D. Let's take that. We might need Jesus. In the apocalypse. Oh yeah, look, there's like four square spots. This is definitely a school. I didn't see those there. And that explains the uh, the fence around it as well. Now, this could potentially be something quite good. I hope this is unlocked. Okay, this is what we needed. What is in here? Any good tools? Box of nails? Yes. What else? Small metal sheet and a light bulb. Wow, that's that's actually nothing. That's actually nothing. Oh, we've got another friend. Hello. I like your hat, dude. Come on, come get it. Bam. God, I'm tired. New digital watch. I think the one we have is fine for now. Let's make our way back home. It's two in the afternoon now. We can uh, go unload our, our stuff. And rest well, knowing that this place has been cleared of the dead. Is, uh, hmm. Is this our house? No? Next one? Ooh, we got a friend! Awful time for me to stretch down to give it get a drink. Hello, sir. You weren't here before. Where did you come from? I'm gonna need you to die, sir. I know you've done it already, but just for just for now. Just just Die already. There's a leather jacket which would give us a lot of protection from bites and stuff. But it sounds like there's a zombie inside one of these rooms here. Hello? What window is this zombie messing with? Is it this one? Can I get in? A hydrate? Thank you, will do. That issue isn't that good, by the way. It's when the start, uh, it's when they started the weird him dating Mary Jane arc. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's a bit weird. I've heard a lot of the weirder stuff that happened in Marvel Comics, but the, that's a bit that's a bit up there. God Jesus Christ. Okay. Come on out. Come if you're gonna startle me, come on. Come out. I'm gonna bash your brains in. Eventually. Okay, did you have anything good on you? Not really. What's up, gorgeous? Not much. What you doing, girl? What you doing, girl? You know? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh, I'm so slow. I'm so tired. I should not be killing zombies right now. God. Okay, I need to get home. Um, how you doing, cops? Welcome to Project Zomboid. You're working. How's work going? Selling them shirts? Engineer Magazine number one. I, should, I, I shouldn't I should be taking stuff. I'm going to start to hurt myself soon. Terrence, what are you doing? What's up? What's up? Welcome to Project Zomboid. Those noises, what noises? Zambies? Look, eat this, eat half of this mutton chop. We're playing Project Zomboid. We're seeing how long we can survive in a zombie apocalypse. I have already been bitten, but it looks like I wasn't infected. We're doing all right. Making up a newsletter now for your Thanksgiving sale. Nice, good stuff. 
good stuff. Oh yeah, there's plenty of spooky noises. Look, I'm all beat up. But we made it home. We didn't die. Not today. Not this time. The zombie had no teeth. Yeah, that, that must have been what happened. That's uh, that's the that's the cannon that I'm going with. Is this my house? This isn't my house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Terry gifted a sub. Holy heck. To Charlie Chew. Well, thank a you. Thank you, Terry. Were you subbed already? So you gifted a sub? Is that what just happened? That's so exciting. Thank you so much. Heck. And it went to someone who we all know and love. Which is great. Thank you, Terrence. Holy moly. Thank you guys for all the subs. It's been it's been interesting to see how Twitch uh, works. Uh, in, in the sense that I took a lot of time off and coming back uh, wondering or not if uh, there would still be an income of some sort there. Um... And you guys are making it so that you, there kind of is, honestly. You guys are you guys are quite nice to me. I gotta say, I do appreciate that the constant support. I got you, King. Hell yeah, hell yeah. How long how long do you guys think you'd last in a zombie apocalypse? All right, now be honest with me. Don't get cocky. Don't don't. I want I want your actual honest to goodness answer. What do you believe that you could you could do? Did I change my password and stream key yesterday? I did. I did indeed. Thankfully, nobody's getting into this into this this business. Not happening. Two seconds, Terry. You think you don't last two seconds? That's fair. It uh, it'd be a week's. It'd be a, a rough situation to be in. Cobbs, you're gonna hold out forever. Might as well. I mean, out of everybody here in chat, you're the one with weapon experience, right? So, out of everybody here, I think you'd be fine. If we all got stuck in a building in a zombie apocalypse, all of us right now, the people that are here, I would trust Colby with my life. Mr. Cops. He would, he would take care of us. Just don't hug him, that's all. Uh, you'd last a week, depending on if your dad comes in to get you. Um, if he does, then you could last years. That's fair. That's fair. It's good to have a good dad around. Dads, dads are the answer to the apocalypse, honestly. They just... Zombie, oh, I'm gonna eat your brains. Oh yeah, and then he tells him a dad joke and it's fine. Knowing my daddy would go ape shit and I'd be safe. You are, I, I, dads, dads are the way to to beat the zombie apocalypse. It's just the way it is. It's just how it works. Uh, let's put let's let's put our food away. Coffee and our oats. Colby can be your dad. There you go. Yeah, Captain Cobbs, you're my dad now. Sorry. I'm your burden. Can I have a loan? Hey, Dad, can I borrow the car? Hey, Dad, can I have a girl over? Past 10.30? Ooh. Uh, the comic books and stuff, they can go on the bookshelf. Comic book. Newspaper. We don't need to carry around the matches. We can just take one lighter with us now. Gonna lurk you. I got dance soon. Gotta eat. Goodbye. Love you too. Thank you, Thweety. Thweetums. Uh, let's see. Sunflower seeds can go in there. The empty bowl we don't need to carry around with us either. Hey, Dad, what's with that weird book you started keeping after you met Mom? 
Uh, cops, you're going to adopt me. Thank you. Appreciate it. What is that weird book that you started keeping after you met mom? Is this how I met your mother? Ba -ba -ba -ba, but they're zombies. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, brains, ba brains, brains, brains. Like that? Let's fill up our water bottle. Past 10.30 depends on the bribe. Hey, I'm not going to bribe my dad to stay out past 10.30. My dad is the cool one. He's supposed to be the one that's like, you can stay out a bit later, but don't tell mom. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's your job. Nope. Uh, can I adopt a child four years older than I am? Uh, maybe. Like, perhaps. The one with, like, what a banshee is and stuff? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, all the, uh, all the books that explain all the... All the spooks and the creeps. Alright. 5.50. Let's see how long we sleep for tonight. Hopefully long enough to... Oh, no. I'm starting to get depressed. Oh, no. I mean, if we're going for the true, the true Swirly Pilgrim experience here. Crank that depression way up, pal. Let's go. Let's get it. Mom? Nah, we a single parent up in here. Yeah, exactly. Who needs moms? Mars? Pfft. Whatever. I'm getting bored as well, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read that issue of Iron Man. Where'd it go? Give that a read. Oh, take these glasses off because they're hurting. Ugh. He seems to enjoy it though. He's having a good time with it. That that comic book issue. I guess we'll see if his boredom goes away. It did. Groovy. All right, what are we gonna do today? Eight twenty a.m. We slept for quite a bit this time. A little sad, which is okay. We still need to find some tools, so. We've got to keep an eye on this baseball bat too. Its condition is almost, it's almost broken. It's almost broken. Yeah, man, this is our safe house. Not too bad. None of the uh, windows are boarded up or anything like that, which you can do um, just to may be extra safe. But, um, I don't have a very high... I don't have any tools to hammer, uh, or to get wood with. So I need to, uh, we're on the hunt for an axe. Or a saw. Then we can start dismantling some wooden stuff and boarding up the doors. Um, we've also got to try to find, like, a gas station as well. Because, uh, if we start to drive, we're definitely going to need to know where on the map we can constantly go back to to fill up. We gotta remember our way home, too. Because I consistently get lost in this game. And, uh... Never make it home again, so... Let's check out this house here. See if there's anybody home. Oh, yeah. She doesn't want to be home anymore. Sorry, we'll go let her out. Probably just her. Yeah, it's just her. Door is locked though. So we're just gonna kinda have to let her come out. I can't break it. And hey, if the door's locked, there's only one good way in, and she's about to make it for us, so. Anybody else around here? Don't want to get too close to that door either, because that's gonna that's gonna pop. He says before walking immediately up to the door. She's gonna get out of there 
And she's gonna try to eat me. And that's the world we live in these days. Okay, there's another zombie there in the kitchen. Yep. Oh, I think he's seen us. Yep, he's coming. He's gonna break through this window. Oh, no, he can't because the chair's there. Ha 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 ha. He's an idiot. Oh, crap. Okay. Another zombie coming in from the kitchen. Joining in on the, on the door attack, which is bad news bears for us. Come on. I just hope no other zombies like from from across the way are hearing this because I don't want to get attacked from like behind. Good to know that we've got a nice chunk of time. The door the door seems to be lasting quite a while. He's given up on us, so that's good. He's just, he's just hanging out in there now, regretting his life choices. Come on. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, he's coming to the door too. This could, we, we're gonna have to leave now. Now that there's three of them. No. Two I can take. Three, too much. Three's too much. I'll just let them do their thing. Let's see if there's anybody in this house. Oh, they had a dog. Oh, man. A poochie? Poochie, poochie. Poochie, poochie. No, I don't think so. Anybody home? Oh, they got a nice library. Okay. Hello? Door's locked. Windows open? My character just really likes this house, so. <laughs> okay. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? So far, so good. Door number one. Bathroom. Door number two. Bedroom. Door number three. Library. All right, nice. Look at this little reading room. I like this. This is nice. Newspaper. Cooking for beginners. Yes, please. That means we can get started on, on cooking. Because once we've got the double experience, you might as well. Yeah, the cooking is something else I haven't really experimented in this, with in this game yet either, so... Advanced trapping, expert metalwork, first aid for beginners, value tech porta disc. Okay, that's a that's a Walkman. So we can listen to that CD that we've got, which no doubt will give us some sort of experience. We'll take all the food, the bananas and the cheese, and the uncooked pork chop. Don't need anything there. Saucepan might be good, but don't really need that yet. What else was in the house? Bathroom. No medicine cabinet, though. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, we checked this room already. All right. Another house clear. Leave the front door open. Oh, damn. Is that a... Is this a farm? I think this is like a farm. This is, uh... This is huge. Is this like a farming plot? It certainly looks like it. Oh, they've got a tool shed. Oh my god. If oh, this is huge. This is def this is a good base. This is a good base. We should move here. Especially if we can get in here. Oh, they got a generator as well? Yeah, we we've got to move here. This is the best place. This is the best place. They got a Jenny? 
Look at all the books they've got. They've got, uh, they've got, uh, She-Hulk. The first, uh, the first, the first one. Wow. Master Foraging, Electronics Magazine, Electricity for Intermediates, Electricity for Beginners, Cooking for Beginners, Metalwork Magazine. That's huge. There's like a saw or an axe in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Metal pipe, screwdriver, welding rods. Close. A machete. Yup. Well, well, we'll we'll take it with us, but our bat is about to break. Pick up your things, kiddo. We moving. Damn right we are. Oh, they've got a shed too. Okay. I think we should definitely come back to this place. But it's gonna take us a while to get everything here. And I hear a zombie. Hello, Susan. Jill? Ah, oh, there you are, Jill. <coughs> oh shit, this is the house that we ran away from. Okay, let's be careful, because that looks like the door burst. They did make it out afterwards. Okay, there's there's two of them. I don't want three of them, I, I can only handle two. Shit, Jill just broke out of the bathroom. All right, we're kicking things off. Oh, I got bit. I got bit again. It's two down. Okay, I need to bandage myself immediately. Oh, God. Why me? Why twice? Apply bandage. Okay. Ugh. This guy looks like a pizza delivery boy. So come here. I got your tip for you. Don't eat yellow snow. It was a baseball shirt. Oh, I see. <coughs> Whoops. <coughs> yeah, the first edition of She-Hulk. That could be a few couple of hundred or thousand. Yeah, well, there you go. Should have taken it. Oh, God, where did Jill go now? The girl from the bathroom. I heard the window break. Oh, there she is. The freaking radio is on. Oh my god. We gotta turn that off. Groovy. Oh, I'm getting hot now as well. And I can hear more zombies. Oh, yeah, this one, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, we need to check out ourselves. How are we doing? Not too bad. Slight damage on our left forearm. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nothing super dangerous yet. It's an avocado. Thanks. Lurking while you watch lectures? No sweat, dude. No sweat. Got some canned carrots. We got a microwave? Oh, yeah. Uh, we gotta turn that radio off. Where is it? Who's listening to the radio in here? Who listens to the radio anymore? Uh, device options. Uh, where's the turn off button? Turn off. Shush. Oh, we got a beanie hat. Let's wear that. Nice. This is the Swally Pilgrim I know and love. This is what everybody's used to me looking like. Sheet of paper, paper clip. Is there anything useful in these storage boxes? Sheets of paper, paper clips, notebooks. Nothing. Baggy jeans, pants, another Walkman. Nothing there either. The loot, the loot, the loot is not on fire. 
Any good books? Not really. Alright, let's uh let's head back to the house. Hopefully I'm not dying. Left forearm still bandaged. We'll leave it for now. Let's get home home and then we can uh then we can take off the bandage and have a look. Hopefully it's just a small scratch. Hopefully we're not infected. I don't want to die. How many days has it been? I've slept twice. So this is like day three. That's not bad, honestly. Surviving for three days in a zombie apocalypse. That's not too shabby. Don't die. I mean, that's the plan. That's the that's the hope. Oh, I'm discomforted. Oh, I'm discomfy again. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. From carrying too much. And, you know, bleeding. Okay, we're home, though. I'm gonna check to see if that car has fuel. Because if it does, I think we're gonna take that out on our next journey. Alright, pray for me, friends. Let's take this bandage off. Let's have a look. Okay, I've got a lacer laceration, but it doesn't seem to be infected just yet. So let's uh, let's just bandage it back up again and hope it hope it just heals itself. I don't have any disinfectant or anything, so we're just gonna have to hope, hope, hope and pray. Uh, we got a lot of food, didn't we? Why am I crouching in my own house? Come on, all right. Avocado, thanks. Banana. Pork chop will freeze that. So we don't kill ourselves eating horrible food. Cheese can go there. Thoughts and prayers. Yes, <laughs> thank you. We need we require thoughts and prayers. Uh we could probably read cooking for beginners, get that experience boost going. Uh, how's my load doing? Still pretty heavy. Let's uh, let's just take off the backpack for now. Leave that one over here. Oh, still carrying a heavy load. It's because I'm tired, and I'm carrying a book. <laughs> I can't pick up the book without getting tired. Let's uh, let's do a read. We're actually going to speed up time for this because reading the books takes a while. Oh wait, he's saying he's saying he already knows this. What's my cooking? Oh, my cooking's already at level 2. Okay, so I need I need intermediate cooking, not not this, not this cooking. Crud. Mm, do we have that? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's read that instead. <laughs> Man's out here on Twitch talking about his heavy I know, right? Hey, you, when you started watching the stream, you should have, you should have clicked the I am 18. I approve. Oh, my God. <sighs> All right. Does that activate the buff right away? Yeah, look, we've got an experience boost buff. The more of the book you read, the higher the multiplier is. So we're just going to go all out and just read the whole damn book. We're feeling nervous and jumpy. We're ridiculously tired and we're hungry. But it's such a good book, though. We got to finish it. We got to finish it. We'll sleep through the day. There we go. Back to normal time. Everything's getting red for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. The sun's setting. That's why. I was worried for a second. Alright, let's grab something to eat and get to bed. What are we having tonight? Let's see. Cold fried chicken? 
Pizza? Let's have some pizza. Now, I could eat it like that. I could eat pizza cold. As you can see, it gives you minus 25 hunger, minus 10 on happiness. But I think if I warm it up, it actually gets better. So we just put it in the oven. Turn the oven on. And then that should, uh, that should heat it up. A microwave would do it faster. Yeah, see where it's... The name is turning red now? That means it's hot. Although it doesn't seem like it's changing at all. Some things will actually hurt you. Oh, I'm feeling queasy. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We gotta get to bed. Eat, eat this entire pizza right now. If we're feeling sick, that's not a good sign. Let's uh, take this bandage off again. Let's check. Laceration. Yep. Okay. Bandage back up again. Not good. Not good. Off to bed. Let's see if we die in our sleep or not. <laughs> We're panicked, we're feeling sick, we're tired, we're hungry. Let's go to sleep. Hopefully that, that this queasy debuff goes away. I'm hot. Oh, I've got a fever or something, I bet. Yeah, we took damage. Something woke us up. Something startled us. We're panicked. Oh, no. Take that, check that bandage again. It's fine. We took damage in our sleep, but we healed it a bit, so it's it's not too bad. We're unpleasantly hot. We probably shouldn't be sleeping in a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Let's take off the jacket and the vest. It is July as well. <laughs> Let's maybe take off some of our clothes for now, because we're we've got a bit of a fever, I think. Sounds like a typical Thursday night to you, I know, right? <laughs> It's all too, uh, all too real. Okay, maybe we'll take off the hat as well, just because we are very warm still. Leave the tank top on. Look, we're a badass. Look at us! See, that's the Swirly Pilgrim I remember. That right there, that's the same person. That's me. It's great. Love this. I do need to clean the blood off of myself, though, because that's probably why I'm getting queasy. That's probably why I'm sick. Just caked in blood. Let's get a wash by. And we're going to see... We're going to see... If, uh... If that car has any gas in it. The clip-on tie? I forgot about the clip-on tie. That's amazing. It's just, it's just there. I've clipped it onto my chest hair, and it's just floating there on my, on my chest area. Makes me, I gotta stay professional in this apocalypse world, you know? Make sure the zombies know I mean business. There you go, get a wash. Look, I'm all clean. Excellent. I'm a nervous wreck. I'm currently terrified. I'm nauseous now, not just queasy. Depressed. And very hungry. Okay, let's eat some ice cream. Let's let's eat some ice cream. That'll get that'll that'll help the hunger, the heat, and the depression. So let's eat an entire tub. Let's go for it. Let's see if that helps us out at all. Maybe ice cream will be uh, what saves us in this zombie apocalypse. All right. Well, we're not hungry anymore, but we are nauseous. I think we are still taking damage from the laceration in our arm. Okay, just keep that bandaged. <clears throat> Do we have any medical kits or anything like that? Let's see. What did, what did we get? We've got our cockroach. Don't need to worry about him. He's doing fine. Nothing there. Okay, let's check that car. Let's see if that car has any, uh, any fuel. I don't, I don't think I have the keys, though, all the same. 
Key's not in it, and it's empty. Alright, well, there was a few more vehicles around. I don't have any vehicle keys, but there were a few, right? Where, where did we go before? We went up this way, I think. And found some keys. Or found some, um, some vehicles. I want to make traveling faster. That's the school over there. Got slight damage. Not extreme damage or major damage or anything, but, uh, so that's good. Wasn't there, like, a van up here or something? Oop, a shed. That's good. Hey. How you doing? Anybody home? If you find a if you find a house with a with a car parked in the driveway, a lot of the times you can uh, you can either find the key in the glove box, you can find the key um, on zombies uh, that are around that house because they might just have the key on them. Let's hope this doesn't kill us. I'm gonna go, son. Have a good one. Uh, don't die. I'll try not to. Thank you so much, cops. Appreciate it. Good luck with your uh, newsletter. I hope it goes well. Uh, okay, this is a big empty field. I'm not wasting my time going over there. There's, this storage area is locked, so we're going to stay away from that. Sassy, what's up? What's up, Sass? How you doing? Welcome to Project Zomboid. We're surviving the zombie apocalypse. We've been bitten already. Twice, actually. <laughs> but we're not dead yet. How was your day? There was a truck up here. Okay. What are this? This is Project Zomboid. This is the single greatest uh, zombie sim that I've ever seen in my life. This truck is locked. Kira Gypsy, hello. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Project Zomboid. We're going to break into this house. I hope nobody's home. Your day was great and good. I'm glad to hear it. My day was uh, my day was average. It was a pretty normal uh, normal old Thursday. It's payday, so that was pretty great. His TV is on. Um, and now we're just uh, now we're just hanging out in the zombie apocalypse, trying not to die. Kira, this game is fantastic. Um, it is absolutely unbelievably well made. Um, and they've got huge updates coming out. Um, hopefully, like, before the end of the year sometime. So now is a really good time to get in on it. Look, I just found some fresh strawberries and some fresh yogurt in this uh, in this person's uh, fridge. Taking that. Realized I forgot my backpack with all my tools in it. That's great. That won't uh, come back to bite me in the ass at all. Uh, yeah, this is pretty fun. It's uh, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good sim. Uh, we can grab a belt. I think we might already have one, but yeah, we did. All right, let's just leave that behind. <laughs> you saw another friend play it a bit? Yeah, no, it's it's great. I uh, I was blown away when I saw someone playing it a little while ago. Okay, all right, all right, we've got a zombie. Oh, all right. Um. It's not multiplayer yet, but they're working on multiplayer. They're hoping to have multiplayer out for it soon. Come on, Zambi. Let's go. Oh, no. There's a second one. Okay. All right. I'm, uh, I'm currently playing as myself as well, so all of my buffs and debuffs are as close to my IRL debuffs that I could get. So I am very skinny. I am not very strong. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to drive. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I've applied to myself, which is really fun. You can kind of make your own custom characters like that. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to survive as basically myself um, as best as I can in a zombie apocalypse. It's pretty great. Multiplayer is going to be coming soon. Um, they're working on it. Uh, 
but like it's a, it's a bit of a difficult game it's got a bit, of a bit of a difficult learning curve because the game doesn't really have any tutorials or anything like that so you kind of have to learn how the game works before before you can really do anything with it so it would uh it would be a good game to uh, get into um solo as well or again just just wait until multiplayer comes out and then get the other person to teach you Um, it's super, super fun. And I'm surprised I'm not dead yet, honestly. Quite surprised. I'm looking... Ooh, okay. A whole garage instead of just a storage container? This this, this might have some good stuff in it. If not... Zambies. Okay. A little workshop. What do we have here? A screwdriver. We've got one. We don't need a second one. A lug wrench. That would be good if we were, like, trying to do mechanical stuff, but right now we don't really need it. If you get enough uh, skill in mechanics, you can, like, um, take take tires off of cars to replace any uh, busted tires that you have on your vehicles and, like, stuff like that. Oh, my God. Hello? Okay. Cooking Companions is out now. Oh, yeah, Mel reminded me of that. Yeah, 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 I forgot. Also, hello to you too, Pizza. How you doing? Welcome to Project Zomboid. There's a zombie in this house, and he wants to eat my body. Let's, uh, let's help him out a bit. Ah! Oh, God, he went right for my legs. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't know there was two. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Die, please. Die, please. Please die. Please die. Jesus Christ. Okay, I can hear more. Sorry, pizza. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> hope you're doing well. How was your day? Good? Anybody in here? Yep. Hello? How many is in there? How many of there are you? Three? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, they got some cheese. I'll take that. I want to just loot this place and get out of here. I can't take three zombies at once. I don't I'm not strong enough. Some dog food. Don't need any of that. Foraging for beginners. That's a good one to learn. Foraging is a good, good skill to have because you can just pick up berries and stuff outside. Uh, let's close that window as well before we leave. Okay, let's never come back here again. <laughs> let's never come back here again. The blood splatter is brutal. Yeah. It's pretty good, though. It's 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 what you'd expect. This window's already open. Hello? Anybody in this house? Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Okay, can we let him out? Break the window. No, not my legs again. Oh god, there's a friend. They broke through that window over there. The three that we were trying to avoid are gonna come for us now. Oh yeah, they're all here. It's like Smash Brothers. Everyone's here. And I'm so slow because I'm hungry and I'm scared and I'm, I've been bitten. Stay away from me! Oh, my bat broke. Run! <laughs> oh, God! Run quickly. I have, like, no energy. Did I bring my machete? No. Okay. Ditch that. Eat the cheese. Quickly eat the cheese. <laughs> We've got to go. Run. There's so many. Oh my god, they're right behind us. Okay, go. I can't believe I didn't bring my book bag. I'm thirsty. I'm hot. I'm depressed. I've got a massive laceration in my arm. Oh, you can move and eat, can't you? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm not hungry right now, so that's good. I am... Nauseous. Okay, 
I think we got away from the threat. So that's not too bad. And I think this is where we live. I think this is home. One of these houses. Yeah. One of these houses. I can never remember which one it is. This one down here. Take your clothes off. If I take my clothes off, I'll, uh, I'll take more damage from the zombies. And I'm already getting mobbed, so... I'll wait until I'm home, and then I'll take some clothes off, see if I can cool myself down. I'm gonna have some ice cream as well. Really treat myself after that adventure that we just had. Oh, God. Where is the ice cream? Eat a whole tub. There we go. Whew. Just chill. Eat some ice cream. All right, let's remove this bandage, see if this injury is doing. Oh. Hasn't healed yet. Let's um, put our backpack back on before we forget it again. Because we've got a machete in there, and that would have come in handy back then. Primary? Uh, yeah. You've been fooled. Character is lactose intolerant. Oh my god, amazing. Can you imagine? Um, strength and healing is reduced. I'm depressed. I'm a nervous wreck. God, this is it's getting very accurate now, I think. <laughs> is this the only zombie game that will feature during spooky season? For instance, is anything special next week, I wonder? Uh, there is a special game coming out next week, but unfortunately, and I don't like to just outright say no to things, but with Metroid Dread coming out and Mario Party at the end of the month, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to grab Back for Blood. Um, and I don't think my PC would be able to handle streaming it either, so I just think that one is a, is a unfortunate not going to happen. Uh, let's drink like half a carton of milk as well because we're still we're thirsty as well. Oh god, yeah. I've got discomfort now. I'm definitely infected. I'm taking damage like right now. Very minor damage. Okay, I think I'm healing now. Like, isn't this the Swarly Pilgrim you guys want to see? Clip-on tie, machete, duffel bag, and guns? That's the Swarly Pilgrim I want to see. I do just have a clip-on tie on for no reason. It's wonderful. Um, it's 3 p.m. I'm taking damage again. I don't have any disinfectant. I don't have any pain pills. I'm unpleasantly hot. Yeah, I've definitely got a fever. We're, we're, yeah, we, we've been, we've been infected. I think we're gonna die. I think we're gonna die. Uh, what's the best way? How should we go out? Should we, should we just pick up, take the shotgun and just, just go for it? Just kill some dudes? Is that how Swarley Pilgrim would go out? I think so. There. 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 Let's eat our strawberries. Yum, yum, yum. Yogurt. Let's eat that, too. Nom them in. Nom in those strawberries. Get them in ya. Get them in ya. Let's, uh... Yeah, still unpleasantly hot. Nothing I'm doing is, is, is taking that heat away. And I'm slowly dying. This is the end. Um, unlock? Or unload, okay. Equip in both hands. Now I'm the people. Alright. Swally Pilgrim is out for blood. Back for blood. <laughs>
Listen, if I'm gonna die in a zombie apocalypse, I'm gonna die with a duffel bag full of ammo and a shotgun on my back. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a box of nails. We can leave that there. All right, let's go. Let's go kill the guys that that nearly killed us before we die. Because we're quickly running out of time. I don't know how I'm how effective I'm going to be with a shotgun. I I don't have any guns training. I've never used a shotgun before. But I'm assuming you just point and shoot, right? So let's see. Let's have a look. If we can kill these guys and get to bed without dying, we might regen enough to keep going. But will the shotgun blasts call more zombies to us? That's, uh, that's what we'll have to find out. Oh. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Where'd you come from? Okay. Oh, I missed. Oh, I've been bit. Definitely bit. Pants have been ripped off. Oh, I'm missing so poorly. I'm so bad with guns. Ah, no. I'm out of ammo. Oh, for God's sakes. How do I reload? I have no idea how to reload. Open box of shotgun shells. Open them right now. Ah, uh, run! Okay, I've got a... I've got a pistol. No! No! Not today! No! <laughs> run! Ow! Son of a bitch! Go away! No! Okay, I'm reloading, I'm reloading. I figured it out. Oh shit! <laughs> this, this sucks. Okay. Did I just not finish the reloading process? Oh my god. I didn't expect to be doing this pantsless, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I had to put the last bullet in. Ooh, finally got him. Okay. Who's next? Oh, shit. No, why am I missing everything? Ow. No. No. Get off me. Get off me. Go away. Oh, God, I've got to reload again. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Four days, eight hours. And now I'm just one of them. Real men fight the zombie horde in their mantis. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's how long real Swirly Pilgrim would last. I gave him the old one, too. Oh, boy. Um... <clears throat> Best them in a round of fisticuffs. Oh, I would love to. Just give them a bap. Bap and a half. <clears throat> I, um... I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. You'd be dead so fast. I'm surprised that lasted four days, honestly. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. Um, I was going to go a bit longer with this, but uh, I died. Um, I didn't really expect to get bitten that early on because I've I've actually done a bit better than that before um, but of course the one on stream would be short of course it would I can't do anything impressive on stream um, the only way I know how to play the game is to become a carpenter and work on carpentry and you can't do that unless you find a saw and we just I just couldn't find a saw so that's too bad um, I think we're gonna call the stream here um, because I did die. Uh, I think we'll probably give Zomboid another go, though, at some point. Um, just do another quick 
you know, a little stream like this where we take the character through a through a run. We'll probably start in a different spot next time. Definitely pick some different traits and buffs and debuffs instead of trying to play as me. Because I am not good at surviving, so clearly. Um, but we'll probably come back to Project Zomboid. We'll give it another look. I don't know when. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what we're going to be doing on Sunday yet. I'm going to just try to s see what my mood is. Um, Animal Crossing? I don't know if I'm going to do any more Animal Crossing on stream. I, I, I want to kind of design the island off stream and then kind of reveal it sometime at the end of the month. I think that's my plan. Um, but I've got a back catalog, catalog of other games that I'd like to play. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll play like the first Left 4 Dead or something. We'll go through go through it. We'll uh, we'll take a look at my Steam library on Sunday and maybe, uh, maybe we'll try to figure something out. That's a bit on the spookier side. Um, but I think I am going to end this stream here today because um, I think it's an appropriate time. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to go play some Animal Crossing myself, actually. And probably get some pizza because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pizza. Alpha was talking about pizza and then Delicate Pizza showed up and Sassy Mustard is here. So you, I, just, well, I just want mustard on pizza now. So I think I'm just going to go have that. Game nuts here as well. Maybe maybe crunch up some nuts. Add that to the pizza. We'll make a chat pizza. Gross. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you guys on Sunday for uh, something else. <laughs> My name is Charlie Pilgrim. Never ever forget to eat your greens. Don't forget to stay home, stay safe, and of course, as heckin' always, stay fresh, cheese bags. See you then. Bye.